Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku, Thursday, May 23rd. And because I've only got one digit in row two, which doesn't repeat in one or three, I already know I have no repeat digits in the top rows. The middle rows, I'm only going to get a three as a repeat. The bottom rows, six, one, eight, nine, three, four, seven, four, two. Okay, I do get a four there. That's all I get. Vertical scanning means... no. Eight's actually placed in box two, one. Those two eights force it one of two places there. Eight and row one rolls this out, so that's an eight. Therefore, one of those is an eight as a follow-on. That's all I get from there. Uh, middle columns. These threes mean one of those is a three. Five, six, seven, one, four, nine. Otherwise, I'm done. Okay. Four is going to be there. These twos are going to force it there. Is that all I get? Yep. I don't quite have a crossing on fours in box five, and the reason is this cell's seen twice. This cell's only seen once. So the digit four still has three places. I can't artificially limit it, though. But I do have a nine that I can immediately place in box 9. The reason is there's only five spaces for it. Those are ruled out, and these are ruled out. 9 has to go here, therefore it must go there. Not like that, though. What's left? Okay, a two I think I can place in row one. These are ruled out, and this is ruled out. Two is forced there, therefore it's forced here. Four, six, eight, nine says I need one, two, three, five, seven for the rest of box one. Those aren't two. This isn't seven. That's not three. Not two, three, five. I get three here. No, I don't get three there because this could be three. Erg. One, two, four, six, nine, and box nine looks interesting. I need three, five, seven, and eight. Neither of those can be three or eight. So th these are five and seven. These, therefore, must be three and eight. The three is thus used in column seven. Therefore, that cell cannot be three. Row 4 has 3, 4, 6, 8. I need 1, 2, 5, 7, 9. These ones can't be 2, and we know this one isn't 9, or 7, as it turns out. Well, let's see. This, these can't be one. Could those be one? Yep. They sure could. So, this corner one is not correct. Ah, row 
6 has 2, 3, 7, 9. I'm going to put 1, 4, 5, 6, 8. Now, this one sees 1 and 4 and 8 by column 6 by box. Therefore, that's a hidden 5. That cell can't be anything else. Four, six, eight, and that is a perfect quadruple. I think there's only two places for each of the digits, but they all cross a region. But row eight looks promising. I've got three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Those cells are one, two, and six. This can't be two or six. It's a one. These two are two, six to complete row eight. Now, where does 1 go in box 8? It can't go here or here, therefore it must go there. And the simpler way to see it would have been this one and that one. Uh, let's see, I've got... Oh, 1 means these aren't 1, and I've got 2 thirds of a 357. Column one in box one. Not that that does me any good. Uh, one, three, five, six, seven in box five. I need two, four, eight, and nine. Let's go in that configuration. Actually, okay, no. 2, 4, 8, 9 is a perfect quadruple. I can't reduce any of those to two places. They're all in three. 2, 4, 7, 9 says I need 1, 3, 5, 6, 8 for row 9. These can't be 1 or 8. Those are from 3, 5, and 6. Two, four, seven, nine are out, as is three, and then this one, six and five, respectively. I got nothing useful there. These cells can't be one or six. That one sees three, four, five, and nine. 3, 4, 9, along with 7. This sees 3, 4, 9, along with 5 and 8 in the column. There's 2, 7, there's 2, 6, there's 2, 9. I wonder if that's going to do anything useful. That's not hopeful. Oofta. Okay, these cells are not 2, 3, or 8. I'm left with this configuration, which doesn't really leave much in the way of obvious. These aren't 1, 4, or 9. So I'm dropped to that. Uh, configuration, oh, 3, 8 means these aren't 3 or 8. Uh, 
row three is going to be my last promising row, because I don't think I have anything else with four digits in it. Two, five, six, and nine are placed. This sees three, seven, and eight. This sees one, four, and eight. Interesting. The four on there was a column marking. Okay, these cells aren't four or eight. Three, five, six, seven. One and five are removed. Nine and two are removed. Nine, six, and two are removed. One and two are removed. Not getting any help at all. These cells can only see an eight. Okay, I'm left with this configuration left after filling absolutely everything out and trying to be somewhat systematic about it. Okay, two's here, so these can't be two. Nine's here, nothing else is nine. Four is there, nothing else in the box is a four. I don't like one seven one four three seven there, 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 there. I can't do anything with it. Three's only here, nothing else is three. In the box or the column. Two nine two seven and two six. That's very bizarre. Seven has to go there. I just spotted something. Six is an offset pair like that in box eight. And that drives me nuts because I don't know what to do with it. Oh, I also have five in one of those two. Top and bottom center of column, what is that, five? Okay, the, the three eight, which is what I needed to see. This can't be an eight, therefore that one is. Silly me for waiting that long to spot it. This cell also can't be a three. Because the three eight pair. These can't be three again because the three eight pair. The eight here. Place a six. Now that means that's not six, so row six is reduced to a one, four, eight.
Okay, where does four go in? Ah, shucks. That could be four. I thought I had four down to one of two places in box four. I don't. Okay, eight's here. Not that that does us any good. It's not helpful. I have got nothing to go with it. Six is another one of these offsets I don't like. Okay, what's next? I got nothing. I don't like that for the third or fourth straight day I'm left to bifurcate on things, but row three seems like a good place to try something. Let's pretend for a moment that that sells a three. Which gets me not very far, because other than here, I have no, I'm nothing to go with. Okay, this was not helpful. Let's try that cell instead. Let's pretend that's seven. This is three. This isn't seven. If this is three, then that's not three. These aren't seven. These aren't seven. Now this can't be three or five. This can't be five or seven. One, two is going to reverberate there. Those aren't one. These aren't one. I've got, th I've got three different three fives in column one, and obviously I'm going to run into a problem there. I have two digits to place in three cells, and that's not going to work, so this cell cannot be seven. Therefore, this cell must be a one. So I have four, seven, three in a given configuration. These aren't one. Okay, all six of these cells are not seven. Neither of those. Five, two, one, go in like that. This is forced to be an eight. Five means that's seven. Therefore, this one isn't. The 1 in row 4 makes that one a 5. None of those cells are 5. This isn't 1. 
the 8 in row 6 means that's a 4. This is now 1. 4, that's forced to be an 8. This is forced to be a 9. 2. Okay, 4, 6, 7, 9, that's a perfect quad. Seven, six, two. That can't be nine, so this one must be nine. That's a four. This has to be two. Six has to go here. This is five. That's three. Unwinding all those pencil marks. This obviously can't be six. That must be a one. Eight, five, one. Two, this is forced to be a nine. That's six, seven. This is five, seven left in column one, which means that's a four, six, seven. Go in like that. Three and eight go in like that. Six, four. This can't be nine, so that one must be. Seven, six, seven in row two places five and seven in row one. This is five, three, one, three, five, and there we go. Well, at least this time I only had to bifurcate one digit. But it was still just as ugly of a solve.